Hi, I'm Dr. Faisal Badwa from the Saudi Gastroenterology Association. We will talk in this video about the celiac disease. What is celiac disease? Celiac disease, or gluten hypersensitivity, is an immune reaction to eating food containing a protein called gluten. Gluten is found in wheat, barley, and rye. It affects about 1% of the population. How can it affect me? In genetically ready people, gluten causes damage to the lining of the small intestine called villi. The damaged villi are unable to absorb nutrients and elements, mainly iron, calcium, and vitamins. What are the symptoms of gluten sensitivity? Most people have no symptoms, and diagnosis can get delayed for years. Thus, screening high-risk individuals can be useful. Symptoms may occur due to the disease itself or lack of nutrients. Most frequent symptoms are diarrhea, abdominal pain, abdominal distension, weight loss, anemia, osteoporosis, bone pain, itchy skin rash. In children, delayed growth may happen, short stature, constipation, teeth problems. How do I diagnose it? Blood test is a good accuracy in predicting the disease. Endoscopy with small intestine biopsy is important to confirm the diagnosis and for follow-up. Is it treatable? Yes, and gluten avoidance is the only proven therapy that cures the disease. Since gluten is found in many popular foods, patients' adherence, family education, and community support is crucial in the management. Some options of therapy might be available in the future, but they are still under evaluation. What food I cannot eat? Any food that has wheat, barley, rye, and sometimes oat, like pizza, pasta, biscuits, bread, cereals, beers, and some sauces. In the beginning of your therapy, you might be asked to avoid dairy products. What food type I can eat? Rice, corn, potatoes, soybeans, fruits, vegetables, and any gluten-free diets. It is important to replace nutrients deficiencies that you may have. Check with your doctor. Where can I get help? Several resources are available on the internet. The Celiac Support Group at the Saudi Gastroenterology Association also provides some resources at their website. 